up you guys, it's Adana. I am back with another video for you guys. So you guys asked me what courses did I take in undergrad to prepare me for PA school. So as many of you know, I was on a pre-med path. Um, I wanted to be an OBGYN, so much of my courses were um, kind of geared towards that aspect of medicine. Um, however, they are pretty close intertwined with um, the pre-PA path or becoming a PA. So um, all of my courses kind of pretty much translated over into PA school. So let's get in it, right? Initially, um, a lot of my courses were taken in, well, not a lot, three of my courses were taken in high school. I was in um, a program which allowed me to take some of my courses at a college that we had a relationship with, that my high school had a relationship with. So I was able to take 12 credits, um, which is pretty much a semester of school before actually entering into school. So I took my English composition course, um, which ha was two semesters, I took psychology and I took statistics all my um, senior year of high school. So going in, I had 12 credits. Um, I was able to then get into the honors biology program at my school. So all of my courses and, and the path that I was on was an honors path, so it was a little bit accelerated. Um, we had a little bit more of a heavy load, maybe like 16 to 18 credits um, a semester. Um, but it worked out because at the end of the year, at the end of my whole um, college career, I only had a four credit semester, which I probably could have done a lot better at maybe trying to take that earlier so that I would have finished school earlier. But whatever, I wasn't really thinking about that at, at that time, but I'm telling you guys, if you have that opportunity to take advantage of it, um, get out early if you can, because then you're just maximizing the time that you have, you're utilizing it wisely, right? So um, after that semester in high school, I went on to college and I took general biology, which was actually an honors biology course, um, the science course and the lab I took general chemistry, the honors course, the science, and the lab. Um, I also took orientation seminar because as a freshman, everybody has to take this orientation seminar course. We also had to take um, the life and teachings of Jesus. So I went and I went to a private Christian um, college. So of course we have to learn about Jesus. So we had to take Bible courses or religion, religion courses each semester for the most part, um, at least each year. So I took Life and Teachings of Jesus. Um, so it kind of focused all on the gospels and um, it was a good course, I liked it. I had fun in it. Um, and it was nice having a course that I didn't necessarily have to do way, like too, too, too much thinking in um, because my science courses were hard enough as it is already. I also took physical conditioning and world literature because we had to take um, an English or a lit course. So that was my first semester of uh, college. I ended that first semester with a 3.69 GPA. So I was doing it, I was doing good. <laughs> I came in kicking um, and I, I, was, I was having a great old time. So then spring of that year, I had to obviously complete um, the courses, the other biology and chemistry courses because they are two semesters for the one course. So I did that. I also took Fundamentals of Public Speaking um, I, I'm sure it was just a requirement to have to take some type of English type course. So I took that course. I took the remainder of my, um, my like health-based courses, but also intertwined with religion, which was health principles. So it kind of talked about our religious health principles and how that also, um, our religious principles and then how it intertwines with the healthcare profession, which was cool. And then I took software tools, um, which was basically a course in learning like general, like learning the general basics and the shortcuts of Microsoft Office, 
I don't know why I took it, but I, it was a course that I had to take, and so I took that. Um, again, I ended that semester with a 3.66, um, and I was doing fine. So that, those were my freshman year courses. So sophomore year, um, you obviously move up. So I took organic chemistry, the science and the lab. I took music appreciation because we did have to take fine arts courses. I also took microbiology, which again, the science and the lab. And I took world civilization, which was basically the second portion of um, the next step up from world lit and I took physics now guys I hated physics I gotta be minus in physics that first semester it was really bad it was practically a C I like he probably just felt really sorry for me and gave me a B minus because I promise you I probably should have had like a C or D in that course I hate physics I hate it to like to this day um, if I never have to take a physics course again I would be the happiest girl in the world, but um, it's over and done with. I don't have to take physics again because I'm in PA school, so I don't have to do that. Um, but I got a B minus in that. Um, I think it, that along with maybe one other course that I get a B minus in, micro. So those two courses were probably the ones that dropped my, um, my grade down. So I went to um, a 3.51 is what my GPA went down to that semester. Um, so at the end of everything, I had a 3.51. And you know, I was still at honors. So I was fine with that. But obviously, I needed to pick it up. Then I also had to take badminton, which was for my PE aspect. I took volleyball as well. I took two PEs that year. It was pretty cool. Um, I loved it. I was having a great old time, so I was happy with taking PE. Um, I took genetics, the course and the lab. I took organic chemistry, the second half of it. And um, of course, I had to take the second half of physics, which I actually did a little bit better. I got a B plus, but still, um, GPA was still like a 3.49 that semester. I had to take the second half of micro as well. So um, it wasn't the best year for me. Uh, I dropped my GPA down and I still dropped my GPA down like even more like continuing on I dropped my GPA down like the next year I had to take histology I loved histology my histology teacher was amazing he was the DO and he was like a great well actually he was in like the, the full histology teacher he was like adjunct but my histology teacher was good too but I liked the adjunct histology teacher he was great um, I took biochemistry hated biochemistry. I got a C plus in that course. Did bio biological instrumentation because at that point I switched my major because we got this brand new spanking fresh nice major um, biomedical sciences and I was like well I don't want to be like everybody else. Everybody is doing biology so I want to do biological or biomedical sciences and so I switched my major to biomedical sciences which I mean it's pretty much the same thing. I literally only had to take like two other courses, which was biostatistics and biological instrument instrumentation. So I took biological instrumentation. I also had to do an introduction to research because at my school, we were very like research based. So junior and senior year, you do research projects. Um, and I mean, so we had to actually get an intro to the research aspect of things. But I had already done research and I will talk about that in another video for you guys. So stay tuned for that. I also had to do the fundamentals of SDA beliefs because I am Seventh-day Adventist, so we have to know like the fundamentals of what we believe. But it's just another aspect of the fact that, hey, we're at a private, small Christian school, so yeah, you have to know about your beliefs in the school. So they required us to do science, um, to do religious courses, and that was one of my religious courses. Um, I also took calculus and tennis and Cal was like harder than what I thought it was going to be. I got a B minus in that course. It was okay. Like this was like my worst year ever. Junior year was really, really bad. It was horrible. I like plummeted my GPA. So right now my GPA is a 3.5 prior and then it dropped down to a 3.43. And then now spring of junior year, I had to take cell molec so cellular and molecular biology i got a b minus in that course i also had to take immunology 
which also had a lab. Um, I took Cal 2, brought my grade up, you guys. Gotta be minus. <laughs> Oh gosh, I did really bad, you guys. Um, I also had to take the gift of prophecy because, hey, we're in a private school. I have to take a religious course again. So I had to take the gift of prophecy. Undergraduate research because we already did the research. So now we had to take the undergraduate research course where we're actually like doing research which was a really cool course. And I really appreciate that about my school and my program, just being able to have that focus on research. And then I took the second half of biochemistry, which um, uh, again, I still got a C plus in that one. And so my GPA went down, you guys, to a 3.23 because I was horrible in school that year. Um, I then took for my, pretty much this was kind of like my last semester because my final year of college, I only had um, mammalian anatomy. I only had one course. It was four credits and the lab. And so I took that spring semester, but my fall semester of, um, of college, I took mammalian anatomy one, um, and the lab, you know, so I took the first half of that course. I also took um, general physiology because I was taking mammalian anatomy, so I just had to take the physiology course. I took uh, developmental biology, loved that course. Embryology was great. Um, I, we like actually like hatched little chickens, little chicks, it was cute. Um, you know, like we had to come and like take care of them, make sure they were being fed and all that stuff. So it was great, um, had a great experience with that course. So I also took epidemiology and US history. Those were like my last couple um, courses, which were great, like they were fine. Um, I ended my actual career of college with a, 3.35, uh, you know, like not necessarily the best, but my science GPA was a lot lower than that. I think it was like a 2.94 or something like that was my science GPA. So with respect to trying to get into um, PA school, that definitely wasn't gonna cut it uh, because the majority of places require a 3.0 GPA. So when I went into now saying like, hey, I wanna be a PA, I had to look at all my courses, I had to look at how old they were because some of them were older than like the five years that some schools were requiring. So I had to take um, a lot of courses over. And really, I may have taken like a whole year of college over because I was looking at my transcript from the community college that I um, took some courses over at or like took some courses that I didn't necessarily have to take for my major. And I took 21 credits, you guys. Um, that's a lot. That's a whole lot of credits to take. Um, but I did it because I needed to redo um, my courses and boost my GPA. And that was something that um, was really beneficial. I was able to boost the majority of my grades up. I think there was one, I mean, I boost all of them up, uh, but there was one grade that I got like a B plus in or an A minus. So I didn't like end my post back career, I guess you could say with a 4.0. But from the community college, every course that I took was a 4.0. And I feel like that was really beneficial to me because it showed them that, hey, I'm serious. I may have like goofed off or like not done the best in undergrad, but per my post back career, like you guys can see that I can do this. I am ready to like make this course work um, and, and I can um, actually handle the course load because there was a month that I took four courses in that month, four science courses. That's when I took the two organics. Um, I also took micro and I believe I took anatomy and physiology too, um, all within that month because I wanted to apply to PA school like that year and that at that moment, excuse me, you guys, had an eyelash in my eye. So I wanted to apply to PA school that moment, and I know that I needed, I know that I needed to actually get those courses done early so that I can have enough time to get my CASPA application in. For my post back, like I, it wasn't a post back degree, but I actually went through and I took um, extra courses. I 
took sociology because I didn't need to take it because I took psychology and I just needed one social science. But for many PA schools, you need to take um, sociology and you also need to take developmental and abnormal psychology, depending one or the other, or some schools like both of them. So I took sociology. Um, I took abnormal psychology. That was like a great course. I loved it. But I took sociology um, and anatomy and physiology too at the same time. Um, although I took gross anatomy and then I took physiology as two separate courses, I never took anatomy and physiology as one course. So I was able to take that. It didn't show up as a retake. And um, I got an A in that, which was good because some schools weren't accepting my, you know, physiology and anatomy like one-on-one -on -one, because I only had technically like one semester of physiology and two semesters of ana um, anatomy and you need two semesters of physiology per the anatomy and physiology. So I took anatomy and physiology two and sociology at the same time. I took medical terminology, abnormal psychology, micro and statistics. So I took micro and statistics. Um, the summer before I got into PA school, I retook those courses along with the organic chemistry at one and two at U, um, UNE. And I got, um, I also took the biochemistry and I took all of those um, in one month, I got an A in every one except for the biochemistry, which I got a B plus in. And um, I did well. I boosted my GPA. Um, I think at the end of it all, my GPA was like a 3.57. Um, science GPA was a 3.3. And um, I picked everything up and I said, here, I'm going to send this off to the PA schools. I did. I revamped my personal statement per my wonderful husband. And those are the courses that I had to do and I had to retake and um, or take. And it worked out. I got into PA school. Um, it may not necessarily be for everybody to have to take pretty much a whole semester or two, a whole year of courses over again. But I know that I knew that this is what I wanted to do. And so I did it and it worked out for me. But for you, do your research, um, see exactly what you need, see what prerequisites you need, make sure you have those, make sure you do extremely well in them, and make sure you do very good in your sciences because that is key. Your personal statement and your GPA is what will get the PA schools to look at you and will what they're what will get you the interview. And then when you go into the interview, your personality is what's going to get you into school. So just be very mindful of that when you're going through these courses and um, you know, trying to do well in the, those courses and write in your your personal statement. So it was a little bit of a long video for you guys. I hope it was helpful though. I had to go through four years of college for you all, plus another actually two years of taking courses over again, but um, hopefully it's beneficial for you all and you all can see um, the courses that might boost your GPA up. Of course, the ones that have a higher credit load will do that. Um, and hopefully it helps you get into PA school or you know, nursing school or med school, whatever it is that you're trying to get into. Thank you guys so much for asking for this. If you have any other questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. I will be sure to get back to them. Thank you, see y'all later, bye.